Hello! As you may know, or may not know, there are a lot of shortcuts in Revit, as in letters you can type in for a certain kind of command. Not all of them are equally as helpful, because some are very specific, so you won't need to use them very often. So I want to show you my favorites that I think is very helpful for you to learn by heart and use them regularly, So because it, it will save you time and the energy. <laughs> well, let's get started. So, this is a project I drew real quick and it's just for show purpose, so please don't judge. The first shortcut I want to show you is MV, which is short for move, which is equivalent to this button right here. It works the same, let's say you want to move this wall onto this grid, so you select the wall, you type in MV, and the, the command starts, you, you click on a line on the wall, and then you drag it to the grid. And there you have it. Our next shortcut is AL, which is short for align, which is this command right here. If you haven't used it before, you should definitely check it out because it's very handy. And to start it off, you we type in AL. And then say we want to, again, move this wall onto this grid line. Then we se select the grid line. This is actually very important because it's counterintuitive in my opinion. But you select first what you want something to be aligned to and then you select what you want to align. So we select the grid first and then we select the outer edge of the wall and there you go. What makes this command especially helpful in my opinion is that it also works on patterns. So in this room we have tiles on the floor and of course we want, would want to avoid tiles being cut in half. So we want the tiles to start in the um, outer edge of the room. So what we do is we, sel um, we select the outer edge of the room and then we select the um, pattern and we have nicely laid out tiles. For our next shortcut uh, we want to m move this wall so that it forms a nice corner with this wall. Uh, so basically we want to delete this part of the wall. So what we could do now is we could drag the end of the wall but this will sometimes not give you the result you want and then you spend ages dragging around the um, dragging it to the right position. So what we do is we use the shortcut TR which is short for trim, which is this command right here. We type in TR and then we click, so we select both of the walls. Make sure to click on this side of the wall, not this one, because this is the one you want to keep. And there you go, you have the corner with just two clicks. So, this was it. Three easy Revit shortcuts that you can try and implement into your work routine. Do you see they save you a lot of time without the clicking around trying to find the command? Um, if you have any questions concerning shortcuts or any other general Revit question, I'll happily answer it for you if you leave a comment. I hope you liked this video. Stay tuned for more Revit videos. And that was it. Bye from my side.